Well, the public is invited, uh, is invited the largest art show in the state, the Punahou Carnival Art Gallery. Yeah, and you can get a special preview later today. Our Chris Lutronic joins us live from Punahou School with more. Chris, how are they treating a Red Raider alum down there? <laughs> <laughs> they love the Red Raider here in Buff and Blue Town. Now, so far, so good. They're always so nice. Lots of aloha here at Puno School. Right now, we're here in the library area where Puno Carnival is about to come up, but also before that, we have the great Punahou Art Gallery. Right now, we're in the midst of it, which uh, I haven't been here in a while, so it's still beautiful seeing so much different great art pieces. To tell us more is a junior here at Punahou School, Mehana Stone. So good morning, Mehana. Hi. For people that don't know, what is the Punahou Art Gallery? Well, the Art Gallery is one of the biggest contributors to the Punahou Carnival funding. And if you don't know, all the profits from Punahou Carnival go towards our financial aid program. So. Basically what happens is all the money that goes towards the art here gets split between the artists and the financial aid here. That's, mm -hmm. that's great. So uh, very cool. It always happens here. And just uh, how much different art pieces are in this gallery? Oh, there's like over a thousand art pieces with over 300 Hawaii artists or about 300 Hawaii artists. Yes. And you got all kinds of mediums here. You have ceramics, there's painting, there's, you know, sculptures. You can find anything here. Yes, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Mehana, for telling us more about that. And yes, you can see the beautiful art pieces. Look at this rendition. See the canoe. I always wondered who actually made this painting. It looks like Mark Br Mark hey. Brown right here. <laughs> Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Aloha. How you doing, Aloha. sir? Good so this is cool. You. I see you got many different paintings yeah. here. And what is it so cool about being here at the Punahou Art Gallery? Well, you know, we're among our contemporaries, and there's 300 or 250 artists, and you always bring your best game uh -huh. to the carnival because you wanna you know, be on the same level as your fellow artists. Yeah, and taking a look at these, uh, definitely beautiful. You brought your A-game. Tell me about this beautiful piece. Oh, thank you. I went on the beach in my office at Kailua Beach, and I looked towards the uh, moko, you know, out there. And uh, I like to, you know, incorporate first the layout, the value, the color, and then the textures, and I bring yes. that texture so it comes to life it's like bringing the outdoors to the inside uh -huh. so, so dynamic seeing the different layers and then definitely when you step back you just see that whole masterpiece really come to fruition but that's not all you have i see this is a piece of yours right here uh, down at the right. bottom this one was really hard to do not because of the subject matter it's just the tourists would come up and of course they would tell me about their mom would paint and their grandma would paint and then i you know i always receptive to listening so it took longer to complete that piece and that's off at the blowhole or the um you know oh yeah there yeah, we go okay, so, on the east side yeah. uh, overlooking sandy beach that is right. fantastic but also uh, as we step back we see a, a piece in the back over here that is one of my favorite places over on the north shore uh, so you can see the sniper shot over there in the corner tell me about that great piece that one the 48 by 60 i did on location at Tree Tables, which is your own stomping ground, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, I really enjoyed that because it was really stormy. And, of course, the waves were 8+. Plus. And uh, so the energy was interjected into my painting. And I always say, don't paint what it looks like. Paint what it's doing. Wow. And that's what I managed to do. Wow. So and that is amazing. You can see the stormy day, but also kind of the beauty behind it. That is just fantastic. And it's all happening with a sneak preview happening later today. So make sure you check out our website on that time. But right now, you could uh, get a good look at the great Punahou Art Gallery before it officially opens uh, coming up uh, when Punahou Carnival uh, starts this weekend. But we'll have more information on our website at kh12.com. This is Chris Otronic working for Hawaii right here at the Punahou Art Gallery. Sending things back to you. All right, mahalo, Chris. Chevy, I think as a meteorologist, you can obviously appreciate yeah. the different color profiles that we have here in Hawaii are so unique. And so to see those put on display, like he was saying, don't paint what you're, what it looks like. Paint what it's doing. That's it's very a, cool. Uh, a look through the artist's eye. I wouldn't yeah. think like I don't think like an artist. I'm not. Me either. Yeah. Not, <laughs> paint by, by numbers is the closest I ever got. But uh, it's it's interesting to see that how how they think about things. You know. Yeah. You know, like Bob Ross. Yeah. 